Oh, I, I'm Game Guts. Time for email. Or, or Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Let's play or whatever. I don't know. We're gonna go on a train now. We gotta go on a train now, cause otherwise we're not gonna make it to Poshley Heights in time to beat the freaking steel type doofus face. Jokes go here. All aboard! We got we gotta beat the shadow sirens there, cause that's how that's how this works. I can only assume that Vivian is somehow in on it, but I don't yet know how. Regardless, we're on a train. And, uh, it's time to move on to Chapter 6. <laughs> yes! Alright, Chapter 6, Three Days of Excess. Whoa, man! Oh, this chapter's gonna take three whole days. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Mario's room! Thanks. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Harumph! The Excess Express. Rather posh, I must say. Rather posh indeed. Well, I mean, it is going to Poshley Heights, I would expect as such. Uh, three days to Poshley Heights ought to pass in an eye blink, yeah, old boy? Yes, probably. I blinked my eyes and we're not there yet. Oh no, a piece of paper! Piece of paper! No! Ah! What? Oh, uh, when did that get there? Don't touch it, it might be a trap! <laughs> Don't go to Poshley Heights, get off the train now, or a sticky yummy doom awaits it! Oh, that sounds like a delicious threat. You don't think that Beldum's crone responsible? Words. Um, regardless of who it may be, the scoundrel is surely on this very train. Good, I always love a train mystery. Let's rouse this swine before he or she has the chance to cause mischief. Okay, let's get this obvious shine spray. And I believe there's also a thing in here. I know there's a thing, like, somewhere, but I don't quite remember where it is, but alright, well. So this is the train. We're gonna be here a while, so <laughs> get used to seeing the train. It's a, it's a pretty great thing. Hey there, lady, how are you? Welcome, 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 this is the dining car where you eat stuff. Thanks. <laughs> ah, yes, yummy, fabulous food. We have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? I know exactly who that is. I'm his biggest fan. Ah, uh, yes, I'm totally swooning. Ah, ah, so I hope he comes here to eat soon, Star Star. You know, usually people say hearts instead of stars, but, uh, you know, there's a shop here for reasons. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Ah, uh, yes, and, uh, I forget exactly where it is I need to go. Well, I mean, I know ultimately I can just explore. I think I need to go to room six. Yes. I believe. Hello, Penguin Man. I'm on my way back home. I have stayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. You don't say. Well, that's that's always a fun time. Alright, well, that was Penguin Man. Maybe I go in door seven? There's Lumpy. Only blue. I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes! Alright, you do that. I somehow think he is the perpetrator. Oh, these guys! From... Okay, look, Bobbery, I know they're b bombs but you don't have to side with them immediately just because they're bombs. Gosh! Oh, are you the champion of the Glitz Pit? Uh, yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights. Well, certainly is a fitting place for a celebrity like you. I was already a celebrity. My name is Mario. Gosh, nobody knows who I am. I'm gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? I am jealous. My birthday isn't anywhere close to now. You stupid cheater, having birthdays sooner than what I do. Actually, wait. I think I actually have to talk to this guy over here. It occurs to me that this is a thing I must do. Welcome to the Excess Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Yeah, I'd like to, except someone's trying to kill me. Sticky, yummy threat? Hmm, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Alright, you do that. Have Bobbery. I don't want him anymore. 
<laughs> well, now, now that that's out of the way, um, yes. Let us let us let's go let's let's go back over. To, oh, everybody's here. Hi, hi, everybody. Hi, how are you? No, my heart cries out the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I mean masterpiece. I mean master paste. Ah, forget it. Ah, well, now it is gone, and I'm left with tears of horror in my eyes. Bummer. Hey, look, a trail. Can I just follow the trail and not even talk to the dudes? That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, but then I'd be skipping a cutscene. Everybody loves cutscenes. Especially cutscenes with lots of talking in them. Those are everyone's favorite. Mm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. Ah, oh, but what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Titles are more important than the substance within the title. Mm, yes, the case of the pot of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Rolls off the tongue. Uh, indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm! My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! Mm, a mystery, you just said. And, uh, um, er, exactly. What kind of dish is that? Ellipses. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. You're right, I never would have guessed. At the risk of, um... A word. You might say I have a certain nose for these things. Oh, immodesty. I, it took me a second. I, I didn't recognize it. I've just never seen it used in such a way. I don't know. Uh, this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! I have a feeling he's making the noises and making it sound like everybody's saying that. I don't know. The central clue of this case, also the most vital one as it happens, is that the perpetrator took the whole pot of stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible... It is you, you godliness woman! Huh? What? <laughs> what? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, pardon me, sorry. I meant to accuse the other gluttonous woman here. <laughs> I felt the need to practice my accusation skills. You understand. Sorry, yes. Um, anyway, ellipses. Thank you. Ahem. Very good. Uh, now to let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worth of m worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. You realize I already solved it, right? <laughs> well, mostly. As uh, so what we know so far, we don't know who the culprit is, and I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmph! <laughs> you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Wait, that's Zip Toad? I love that guy! Can I have an autograph, sir? Zip Toad, the Zip Toad! No way, Mr. Detective Person! You're just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer! Tweety? A geezer? Geezer? Mm, I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, uh, well then, who did do it, hmm? Hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Maybe if I accuse the mouse, no, he'll just deny it. What if I accuse the fish? No, he'll just, he'll just deny it. What if I accuse the bot? No, he'll just blow up. Uh, what if I... No, no. I don't even know who that red guy is. He's just kind of there. Well, I don't know what to do, I guess. A oh, uh, uh, clue, there are traces of something on the carpet. Hmm, I do believe... I've already noticed this, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> Why, it could even be the coward that wrote the note. The sticky, yummy one. Hmm, what makes me say that? A sea lion's nose for scoundrels, oh boy. Yes, those exact words. Thank you. Thank you, Bobbery. Stick to finding Fun Island. You're not a good wordsmith. Uh, 
Alright, so I doubt he's in my room, and uh, the trail ends at room 3, so let's go into room 3. Hi! You look like a, a, a suitable suspect. How are you? <laughs> what do you want? A burp? Sorry about that. Now, uh, where, where are you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame the chubby guy. Not nice! Uh, what? Drops of stew on the floor outside? Uh, no. I, w I wouldn't know anything about that. No. People spill stuff. Uh, there's nothing in the drawer. No need to look. You won't find anything. Okay. I won't. Bye. <laughs> there are several gourmet food magazines in here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the, f on the cover. He, his smile is just blinding. You can no longer see. There's something under the magazines! An entire pot of stew somehow fit in there. I don't know. Oh! I'm sorry I ate it all. It was me! <laughs> I'm victim to my own cliché. Ah, so you were the enamored with the stew, and you wanted to steal it and devour more. Those words exactly. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping chalet. Shella? What? What are those? I'm not sure. Answer! Also, was it, like, boiling or something? Wouldn't that be not safe to even touch? Alright, whatever. I'm so sorry! It was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid! Mm, justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, with the unkempt facial hair. Unkempt? <laughs> Excuse me, I have a level 50 mustache. You will bow to me, sir. Uh, your keen sleuthing instincts indicated or identified you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Uh, now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it, probably because you told me already. As a lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. Ah, oh, but we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Okay, I mean, you know, what's the fat guy gonna do? That's rude. What's the toad gonna do? Oh, uh, please return the pot to the chef, if you could. Alright, I'll do it. I guess. I wasn't aware this was Trouble Center the train. I guess we're not gonna arrest that guy or anything. I mean, he did steal something, but details, you know. Was... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, he, he said he was sorry, and all he did was really, like, steal food. Also, your pot's still here, but alright. Ah, oh, so you found the beef! I, I mean, the thief! I am joyful! Here, have a pot. Mm, you are the hero of my world! You have even brought my pot! Hmm, it is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it, thanks to you from me. There's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, why must I butcher this language so? I'm worse than this game guy person. Uh, so shameful! Please take it, I mean. I got a star piece. All right. <laughs> yeah, so instead of the star pieces being hidden, a lot of them are like, you kind of solve little mini troubles for people and get them. It's, it's, it's a neat little thing, I suppose. I suppose. Hey there, Penguin Man, how are you? I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work in this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deducted, or deduced, this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. Yeah, I solved a murder mystery once. It was great. <clears throat> so it is decided then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. Me? Ah, to reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. The circles are not very frequent, though, unfortunately. Uh, I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. Hmm. And as for your name, wait! I demand you do not tell me! Oh, this will go great. I shall deduce your identity. Hmm, that mustache, that nose! All defining features of you. 
Oh, all too easy. You are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? I am not. I don't even know who that guy is. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Ah, now about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob They are definitely suspect. Uh, excuse me, Bobbery is right here. He would probably find that rude. <laughs> bob can do more than explode, you know. He sails boats. <laughs> now, Luigi, uh, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay, I'll do it. Suddenly, the, oh, okay, everything is yellow. Good. <laughs> it is now evening time, so I guess uh, next time it'll be evening time or something. Oh, no, you know what? I'll, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Are you even listening? No, no, that's Rob's Rob. What are you talking about? Little Bub's future is the present, obviously. I think we should get Bub the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bobbery in. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bomb. Stop thinking with your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him honestly. Pfft, I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Yes, let's speak to the child. Are you a detective now that I quit? That you quit being a champion? Well, so, can you detect what I really want for my birthday? Well, I'd rather not, but plot progression demands it. Really cool! Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Well, that sounds fun. Here's a hint. It starts with an A! Got it? That's descriptive enough to figure out. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to remember here um do I talk to you yes let's deduce what it is mm, wants a Game Boy Advance my dear Luigi because that's my friend it's what young children his age crave above all things yes clearly thank you <laughs> I believe actually this is the part where I'm just kind of supposed to like talk to a bunch of people uh, yes I'll just order the next expensive thing in the denu menu. Alright, you do that, mouse man. Ha have fun striking it rich with oil or, or whatever you might do. I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I, it took me a second, but I just remembered what I'm even supposed to get. It's like, wait a minute, what starts with A? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, we never went into room four. What's in room four? Room four is empty. Good. Good. <laughs> it's an empty room. All right. So the uh, the toad dude is in three, and what is in room two? Mm, you would be ah. Oh, you are the other toad lady. A fine specimen of a man. You, your marvelous dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes. Very well done. You're so ruggedly smart! Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Sure! How absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere in this very train. Could you please hasten the search for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Okay, I will look for it with my eyeballs. That is a thing I can do. And, yep, Zip Toad is the only remaining person. Hello! You are my best friend. Little bub kid won as a present. Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? <laughs> Man, don't they all? Can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Well, there's no chickens on this this um this this, this thing, so uh, you're kind of out of luck there, Zip Toad. <laughs> kind of out of luck. That's the that's the exit door. We could go out on that door and jump off the train. That'd be fun, right? I believe there's actually a star piece in here? Yes, okay. Hello! Running the train during sunset at the high point of every day, for me, is the high point. Yeah, it's here for the Excess Express! Huzzah, huzzah. Yes, I, I understand. Can I push the big red button? Hmm. There are many small switches and levers here. Good. Great. Wonderful. 
Well, this is the part where I'm not entirely sure where to go. That's basically this chapter in a nutshell, so I guess I'm gonna wander around until things happen. <laughs> oh, you could use my skills too? Of course! Okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Okay, wavy text lady. Bye! What about you, guy? Family's fighting all about stuff loud and clear. One thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> I say, old boy, might this bub tyke merely want something from someone he admires? Whatever he craves, we'd best find it soon, old boy. The train is in danger! Yes, this was the exact trigger I needed to do in order to figure out the thing I already knew. <laughs> Great. Actually, that's, that's a thing that kind of bothers me in games like this. Where it's like, I already know exactly what the end goal of whatever I'm doing is, so I just want to do it. But then, like, there's all these little triggers that need to happen before you can actually do it. Like, in this case, I needed to talk to that guy, that exact person, before I could even progress. Because I knew from the beginning, I needed to talk to the, the train uh, engineer dude who's driving the train. But, like, <laughs> obviously earlier he didn't give me anything, so it's like, you know, you want an autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Yes! Paper. I got an autograph! Wow, that toad's face is, like, so happy. Look at that. He's so adorable. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic! Alright, well, that was fun. Back to Bub! Hey there, little dude. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Yeah. Took some doing to get it, though. Bingo, mister! That's what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Whoa, you... Whoa, you can't just have that. The Piantos will be mad. <laughs> Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. I think that's like the only shine sprite in the game you're forced to get. Which is weird. Alright, it's nighttime. Everything isn't yellow anymore. It's, it's great. Um, I don't think anything really happens at night, so, uh... Yes, autograph. Nah, just as I suspected. No, you didn't. Ah, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. A new mystery, you say? Can't wait. Now, for real, I will wait until next time to solve said mystery. But uh, until then, I'm just gonna sit on your chair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on your chair. Can't do anything about it, Pennington! You butt! Oh, I'll see you later, goodbye.